everyone and let's check out another beautiful chess game by Capablanca. And in this chess game, Capablanca has the white pieces and his opponent is James Arus. And this game was played in Havana, in Cuba, in the hometown of Capablanca in 1912. And this game was from a blindfolded exhibition. So this was a blindfolded chess game by Capablanca. So Capablanca starts the game with playing d4, d5, e3, e6, bishop to d3, c6, knight to f3, bishop to d6, knight from b to d2, f5, c4, queen to f6, b3, knight to h6, bishop to b2, and black castled, queen to c2, knight to d7, h3, g6, and in this position, Capablanca castled in the queen side. e5. d takes on e5. Knight takes on e5. And Capablanca captured the pawn. c takes on d5. Pawn takes pawn. At move 14, Capablanca made his calculations and he decided to sacrifice his knight. We have knight to c4. So in this position, the knight on e5 is under attack for three times. And if moving the knight to a silly spot, bishop takes queen. And in this position, black decided to capture the knight, accepting the sacrifice. Bishop takes on c4. This is check. Blocking with the knight. And again, Capablanca made his calculations at this blindfolded game, and he played rook takes on d6, sacrificing the exchange. At move 16, what a move, attacking the queen, and black captured the rook, but then knight takes on e5, getting back the material, sort of. Well, he is only down the exchange, but he has one extra pawn, bishop to e6. Rook to d1, attacking the queen. Queen to e7. Rook to d7, by Capablanca. Sacrificing the rook. What a move. Don't forget that this game was from a blindfolded exhibition. He was not seeing the board. So attacking the queen and sacrificing the rook. Bishop takes on d7, but then knight takes on d7. And black even didn't capture the knight. And black played. Rook from f to c8. If capturing the knight with the queen. Then queen to c3. And there is no defense. Threatening checkmate. There is no sensible defense. You can't move the knight. Because the knight is pinned. So after knight takes on d7. We have rook from f to c8. And queen to c3. The expected move. Threatening checkmate. Well, what else? In this desperate position, James Aurus captured the bishop. Rook takes on c4. B takes on c4. Again, threatening checkmate. So defending, knight to d6. Capablanca played, queen to h8. This is check. King to f7. And between move, he played, knight to e5. This is check again. King to e6, and then Capablanca captured the rook, queen takes on a8, and black resigned. What a game. Because of his perception of the game, and also because of his incredible accuracy, Capablanca earned the nickname of the human chess machine. What a beautiful chess game by Capablanca. And at this moment of the game, there is no need to go farther. White is a piece up. White has one extra pawn, and this is losing for black. Materially and positionally, there is no compensation. It's over. So this is the last position of this beautiful chess game by Capablanca. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.